Well, Faith Plus is what we're talking about this morning, and that is the message that is a perversion of the gospel that says that you need to trust in Jesus and do something else, add something to that faith. I'm reading from Galatians chapter 1 and verse 6. The apostle says, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. So he says, people are coming along and they're preaching another gospel and people are coming along and they are perverting the truth of the gospel. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Now that is incredibly strong language. He says, I don't care if it's an angel from heaven that tells you something different than what you've heard from Jesus, from his apostles, from the word of God. Let them be accursed because the truth of the gospel is just this in chapter two and verse 16, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. And so the perversion of the gospel, another gospel that is being introduced, and even even Paul says, going to the extent of saying, even if an angel from heaven were to tell you something different than this, it's not the truth. The truth is, is that you're saved by Christ alone, by faith in Christ alone, because of God's grace alone, and not because of your works. Your works add nothing to the grace of Jesus Christ. So if your salvation lies in faith plus works, it's not the biblical gospel that you are believing. He goes on in chapter three and he says, O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you? He, he sees them as being bewitched and Paul's scratching his head because he had, he had gone and planted these churches himself. He and Barnabas had the first missionary journey as they made that loop and then came back through. And he says, <clears throat> you must be bewitched because you knew the truth because we told you the truth. But now they're, they're being led astray. They're believing something different, a perversion of the truth. And he says, who hath bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth crucified among you? This only what I learn of you. Received ye the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Are ye so foolish having begun in the spirit? Are ye now made perfect by the flesh? And so he sees it as them being bewitched. He says somebody has, has bamboozled you by tricking you into believing something that you know is not true, he says, let me ask you this. Did you receive the Spirit because of something that you did? These are Gentile believers. These Gentiles, they were not doing anything that would have been pleasing to God. They were idol worshipers when Paul found them. And he preached the gospel to them. They heard the message of the gospel. They believed in their hearts. They called on the Lord Jesus Christ and he saved them and they received the Holy Spirit. He says, okay, so if that happened by the Spirit, then now do you think you're gonna be perfected by the flesh and by the works of the flesh? Well, no. So you can't add to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And if you do, it's a perversion. And anybody who tells you to do that, Paul says, let them be accursed. The gospel is very simple. Uh, it's, It's amazingly simple. It's so simple that a child can understand it. God loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, but God commends his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Can you hear these words? Uh, It's believe on Christ. It is a free gift. And if we'll believe in our heart that Jesus is Lord, confess with our mouth that he is Lord, that God raised him from the dead, that we'll be saved. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. It's the best news that anybody could ever hear. I just want to encourage you, don't let anybody lead you astray. The good news is trust in Jesus. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.